Yeah, and... And we're back with these babies. Yep, waveformers. So today I am actually going to use the waveformers for a heatless stretch because I want to straighten my hair. I am going to get these results and watch my process. So you've seen me do this before, just um, showing you that my hair did start to get dry um, as I got to the front of my hair. So what I'm doing is just re-wetting it and I applied a leave-in conditioner. I'll link it below. I think it was the um, Red Can Anti-Snap. And here I am just making sure my hair is thoroughly detangled before I grab my waveformer. I loop the hook around the base of my hair um, and pull it tight. Small sections is key. Um, so I've gotten some feedback that it pulled their hair, snagged their hair. And honestly, if you do smaller sections, you shouldn't run into that. Uh, I can't sleep like that. <laughs> I don't sleep flat on my back, I sleep on my side. So I'm sectioning these so that I have a comfortable side to sleep on, just a flat side on one side. I typically sleep on my left side, so yeah, position everything on the right. I let these air dry overnight, um, took them out the next day, so that was a total of 11 hours. Do this before these slide right on out and I'm going to give you an up close of why I chose this as my heatless stretch method. I'm going to be inserting footage of when I straightened my hair six months ago um, and yeah you'll see those results and how they differ so much from the results I'm going to get this time. You see I'm using a paddle brush, I'm using a comb, I'm using the tension method to straighten my hair and you'll see those results and why I opted for a heatless stretch this time around. looking good besides those ends that were out but I got them ends so I'm gonna start on this section first I'm gonna apply the thermal creations now I don't want to talk the entire video but I do want to explain my process. I'm going to speed it up in the initially but I will slow it down for you. So I've taken out half the waveformers and I applied my heat tamer to my hair. And then I am taking each section from the waveformer and splitting it into two for the most part. Um, and I will go ahead and comb it out and then I press out my roots, follow it up with the boar bristle brush and do the chase method. The boar bristle brush allows for more even heat distribution from the flat iron so I can get a sleeker result. I got that technique actually from Glam Twins Kelsey. Um, her explanation was great. I loved her results and so I thought I'd try it and I loved it. I'll also be inserting uh, footage from at the top where you can see I did the same process back in January but I did not get the same results.
about even. Uh, I can't wait to take some pictures with this. But for right now, this is it. So, let me sit down at myself and look at what I did the last time. Yeah, this is this is 10 times better. But I'm sure if I straighten my hair more, plus my hair's not used to being straight. If I straighten my hair more, it would be used to it. Yada yada, you do. I guess I could. I want to put it in like six big pink curls, but I really like how it looks bone straight. Quickly hopping back to when I straightened my hair six months ago, this is my result. After flat ironing my hair, like this is what it was. I tried to wrap it and it didn't work. And so I was like, I'm gonna go for heatless curls. I opted for flex rods and I was able to save that hairstyle. As part of being natural, we know how to save a hairstyle. <laughs> Especially after putting in all that work. And my curls are really bouncy and full. Um, and Which is definitely why I wanted a straight look this time around. First time I wrapped my hair since I was relaxed, which was eight and a half years ago. That is all for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.